Today, I'm going to show you five new exercises to build muscle. So most of these exercises you probably have never seen or come across. If you have, you probably haven't done them. So I'm going to show you why you should be doing them to build muscle, especially if you are stuck with no progress. Follow me over to my workout hub, which is my office, and I'm going to show you these exact exercises. Let's do it. Okay, so the first exercise I'm going to show you is the dumbbell single arm row. You're going to think, Ryan, I've seen this thousands, millions of times. No, this way, the way that I'm showing you is slightly different. Okay, so when we bring the dumbbell up, we make sure the elbows are a little bit lower down towards the hip and create a little bit more thickness in that lower region of the lats. So give this exercise a go and let me know how you get on. By the way, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe, especially if you are enjoying this video so far. And again, like it. Make sure you like it, because if you like it, press the like. Okay, so this movement is one of the favorite ones I like to superset any movement during my back workout. As you can see, it's a bit of a mixture between like a, a bent over row with dumbbells and a deadlift. So we're using our lats and also our lower back. This is a killer. I'm telling you, you need to try this in your next back workout. All right, so this next movement is not really one particular exercise. It's a combination of three different movements I like to use when I train my shoulders. So as you can see, I do this kind of overhead dumbbell rotation followed by these lateral raises and then we finish up with a front raise coming from behind my back and up i do eight reps per movement three to four sets is typically something that i like to do but do this combination for your shoulders you will get those shoulders growing i am guarantee you all right be consistent with it okay so with this one is the seated row you can see that I am slightly leaning forward and then pulling the weight into my belly button. This way, you are not rocking back, taking some of the weight, you're only using the lats and you will feel it in the lower region of your lats as well. So you've got to give this one a go. Okay, this last one, you may have seen this before, you may have seen me do it before, but I don't really tend to see people do it. This is great for your upper chest. So if you're looking to increase a little bit more muscle in that area there. You can see I put the bench at about 60 degree angle, allowing me to kind of arch my back a bit, isolate the chest, but also as I'm pushing up, I am twisting, making sure I really hit inside that part of the chest, okay? The upper part, the upper portion. Okay, hopefully you will use some of these exercises in your workouts. I guarantee you, if you start to implement them and do them consistently, you will start to see some changes in your physique, especially if you're starting to see a plateau, okay? Make sure you're always changing it up, changing the rep ranges, making your workouts interesting and exciting, all right? If you have enjoyed this and you've taken some really good information from it, then make sure you hit the subscribe because I'm gonna be bringing plenty of videos just like this. All right, see you soon.